Hello, Miguel from Grumo here, and I want to show you a very nice new app that leverages Glide's OpenAI integration, and it's a recipe app where you can search for any kind of recipes, whether they're just normal dishes or even cocktails, and it will generate a complete recipe from it. But not only that, you can copy and paste the URL to any recipe online, and it will extract the recipe from it. It's a great way of saving your favorite recipes. So here I've already saved a bunch of recipes, as you can see, and they're actually categorized automatically using Glide's AI uh, default integration. This works starting from the maker plan. So if you go to Glide pricing, you can see here the different plans and starting the maker plan, uh, that's when you have access to the Glide AI native integration that allows you to do really cool stuff with artificial intelligence. In this case, the well, let's just search for any type of recipe here. Let's say turkey and just click search and it's going to generate, in this case AI, uh, three turkey recipes. When we click in any of the results, it's going to generate the actual recipe. Right now we just have the results, but now it's going to go on the background and generate the recipe for that result. And there it is. It even grabs automatically an image with the Pexos integrations. And if we look at the integrations that we're using right now under integrations, you can see we have the browser integration, which I'm going to show you and next, how it works, and then the Pexos integration that grabs images from the Pexos image database. Okay, so I have here all my recipes already saved with a little nice images, but what I think <laughs> this is really cool too is you can go to any recipe online. Let's get this uh, beef stroganoff recipe, and then we're gonna copy the URL and then paste it into the search box here, and then it allows you to extract the recipe from that web page. It takes a few seconds because what Glide is doing right now, it has cleaned all the HTML from that page and then it's created the recipe from the actual web page. And it's a really nice clean recipe. Right here you have the ingredients, the instructions, and even the total cooking time and the servings, which are extracted from here. We can, hear, we can see here, 600 grams, two tablespoons. Let's see if that is correct. And you can see that is correct. And this is already saved into the app and you could be able to see it right here. There you go, the beef stroganoff recipe. Now, I'm gonna show you a little bit in the background how this works. We have uh, one, two, three, four, five tables. Users is the, the default users table that is created by Glide every time you create a new app. And then under search, this is where most of the magic is happening. We have several user specific columns and we have the search input. Here is where we're going to put either a search for a dish or a cocktail or the URL. And then what we have to do is to find out whether it's a URL or not. We use a JavaScript column for that, that is trying to find out if what you pasted is a URL. And based on that, it's going to either just generate results using Glide's OpenAI integration, or is going to go ahead and extract the contents of that web page and then extract the recipe from that web page. And for that, I'm using the new Get Web Page Source Glide integration that allows you to grab an entire web page of any URL. So if I paste here the Beef Stroganoff website, you can see here we've extracted the entire HTML from that web page. Now this is a lot of data, so I need to clean it in order to be able to process it with Glide's AI integration, which of course is limited to X amount of tokens, which now is about you know 4,000 tokens. And here we have 360,000 characters, which definitely wouldn't be able to be processed with Glide Open's AI integration. So what I do is, you can see here HTML before and after, I basically compressed the web page by 96%. Here I'm counting the characters, but the actual clean HTML is this one, right? Now you can see this is a lot less. 
So what this JavaScript column is doing is using this script to basically get rid of all the HTML tags, all the links, all the images, the header, all the CSS inline, all the JavaScript, everything that is not the actual text. As you can see, that it's, it's really cleaning that HTML, this original very long HTML from the source URL into something a lot easier to process. And that's when we can send this to our action and extract using Glide's AI integration with OpenAI, the actual recipe. And how do we do that is we have an action attached to the submit button here. If we go here to, to the extract button, as you can see, it's going to say something different. Like if we type a URL, it's going to say extract. If we type, uh, you know, any other type of search, it's going to change the button to a different action. And here we have the different results here. Let me just clear them and start typing. And then you can see here under the button, we have a an action which is going to be the search of extract. So if it's, a, if it's not a URL, so in this case, if the URL computed column that is checking whether it's a URL or not is zero, then what it's going to do is going to simply uh, search for delicious dishes that match the description, uh, the search input, and then it's going to generate a JSON object with all the results. And then we're going to show those results, okay? If it's a URL, we want to extract the data. So because we already cleaned the HTML, what we're going to do is use that as the input for this generate text AI action. What I say is generate a clean markdown code for the following recipe, which we are inputting here as the clean HTML, the compressed version of the web page. And then I'm telling them the title of the recipe should always be a heading. We want them to be bigger. Sometimes what I notice is that it would make the title the same font as the rest of the recipe. So I tweak this until the recipe starts to look nice. Then I say separate the ingredients list from the instructions list, include the total cooking time and servings if available, and only include the markdown code without markdown. Or sometimes it, when you say generate code, it will encapsulate that code with some unwanted characters or text. So in this case, I'm making sure that it doesn't do that so I can generate nice, clean markdown code. And markdown is just like a simplified version of HTML that it renders uh, really nicely and clean on uh, web browsers. Okay. And there is a lot more things going on here, right? You know, like I clean the original search, then I generate a unique identifier so I can then relate to the newly created recipe under the recipes table and a few other things. That's pretty much uh, how it works. And I think this is a great template to showcase the capabilities of Glide and its new AI capabilities. And in this case, it's just a very nice app to generate recipes or just extract recipes from the web. And if you wanna get a copy of this template, just go to grumo.com slash recipe AI and Start playing with it and have fun. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.